Well, we do. We f finally have found another creature besides our common impalas. Well, but it does not want to be our friend. It's just moved away completely and is now obscured by a million trees. And so it's just this tall being and you can see just the tip of its head and just the legs that are sitting out. Now, dear watcher, you were hoping to see a giraffe, so there we go. Hopefully that's going to work. Now, I'm going to just try to go forward a little bit just to see if I can't find a better gap so that we don't just see a small head poking out of a tree. And he was standing so beautifully for us a few minutes ago, and then... Oh, no, there's going to be another tree. Is that all right, Seb? Uh, a bit forward. A bit forward, okay. But not too much. <laughs> but not too much. How's yeah, that? All right, there we go, Seb. This is, if it's not right, it's on you, because I got the directions. Oh, look at that, perfect gap. Now, there we go, that's better. Much, much better. You can see it's also ruminating, much like our impalas, so took a mouthful of leaves, swallowed them, and is now regurgitated. And this giraffe is absolutely beautiful. It is dark, dark, dark in coloration. It's almost black. It's so dark, and particularly when it gets in under the shade there, it's actually quite difficult to see. And so we almost drove right past it. But look at that. Isn't that a beautiful animal? And you can see those very sort of irregular patterns. It's a little bit different to the giraffe that Steph and Brent have been seeing up in the Mara, slightly different shapes that you'll see up there than what we see with our southern giraffe. And I love watching giraffe when they're feeding like this because you'll find just now, hopefully, he's going to lift his head a little bit. Now, the wind must just stop blowing and stop blowing a leaf right in front of his head because that's obscuring things. I'm going to try to go forward a little bit for you, Seb, because it seems like that branch is just obscuring things slightly. And I was saying that I really like when they feed because they lift their head up really high and they kind of tilt their head back and then you see this long tongue coming out. So hopefully he will feed like that just now and kind of try and feed off the big tree that's above him and then we'll be able to see that long tongue coming out. Isn't that amazing? And just now we're talking about their sleep patterns and how little sleep they actually get. And I'd imagine Brent and Dave will relate to that after last night. And so hopefully they'll get more than their 20 minutes this morning and be a little bit more sort of rested than what a giraffe is and the reason why giraffes sleep so little is just because of the fact that there's so many threats around there's lions that are around and so they can't afford to be asleep all the time they need to be able to watch what's happening and so short bursts of sleep and the 20 minutes in a 24-hour period means that they kind of get enough rest that the brain is not affected in any way and yet they're still able to keep themselves safe by watching out for predators is a giraffe in its prime condition look at it it's absolutely beautiful it's not skinny in any way big muscular neck not too many sort of markings on the neck yet he doesn't have any of the signs of wear and tear his ears are perfect and so well it's a giraffe in absolute perfect condition and what are you doing look there we go there's the long tongue so David you say he's got such white ears well that's exactly right David the reason why he's got white ears is much like a leopard's white tail or a lion's black tip to his tail it means that other giraffe in the area can see those white ears contrasting against the dark leaves of a tree and they can then follow one another around and so they don't have the marking on their backside but rather on their ears because being tall animals that's an area that others can see but look how clever this giraffe is do you see what it's doing it sometimes is grabbing a little bit lower down on the branch and actually bending the branch down towards it and then it's sliding along and using its tongue to pull off the leaves that are on there very very clever indeed and I've actually never seen a giraffe feed in that in that way before where they bend a branch like that and then slowly come down it to be able to then get to those leaves that was very cool to see well done giraffe very clever you can see also how well they do blend in you would think such a big animal would stand out but look at where its head is almost impossible to see because of that broken pattern so, Natalie, you want to know if I've ever seen a giraffe without ossicones? Um, no, I've never seen a giraffe without ossicones. I've seen ones with one or with broken ones or ones that have grown in funny ways, but never without ossicones at all. It seems as though they all have them, and it would be very odd to see one without them. It would actually look quite funny, I would imagine. But I've never personally seen without 
Um, like I say, I've seen with one or with broken ones or stunted ones or skew ones, but never ever completely lacking the ossicones on the head. Seb, have you ever seen ones without an ossicone? No. no, no, I didn't think so either. It's not something that I've ever actually even seen pictures of or, or heard recorded, and so maybe in the wonderful world of the interweb we'll be able to find something, but I don't know if it is possible, if it's even been documented before. But there you go, again that camouflage, absolutely amazing. So you see now that the sun's up, that dappled light, a broken pattern, which is what we see on a lot of our animals out here. So these guys, zebra, um, leopard, broken spotted patterns work really well in dappled light and means that that animal can camouflage incredibly well even if you are three and a or well, five and a half meters tall and very very large uh, now it seems the bug has caught them all and so we have another victim of the so-called red lollipop in Kenya and it seems stiff is on it now as well so not only Brent and Jamie but we have another red-lipped warrior out in Kenya